Hello and welcome to Levi Salomon series of videos on Brazil civil liability law. Corruption and misconduct in public office are relevant issues that have received special attention in the last decade in Brazil with the enactment of new federal statutes and the filling of lawsuits of great national and international repercussion. I'm here today with my colleague Renato Ikawa to introduce you to some key aspects of civil liability in Brazil related to those matters. Enacted in 2013, the Anti-Corruption Act provides for administrative and civil liability of companies for acts against national or foreign public administration. The Anti-Corruption Act provides for the strict liability of defendants, that is, whether the legal entity acted in a negligent or reckless manner is not a topic open for discussion. Also, the defendant's liability does not exclude and is not dependent on individual liability of those who have carried out the illegal acts. In other words, these types of liability claims tend to be fact-heavy and defendants will typically want to produce strong evidence of their factual arguments. Both administrative and court proceedings might be commenced based on the Anti-Corruption Act. The possible sanctions include payment of fine, loss of assets and rights, suspensions of activities, and court order dissolution of the company. Awards issued in administrative proceedings may still be challenged in court by means of a suit for annulment. Finally, the Anti-Corruption Act also provides for celebration of leniency agreements, which may exempt the legal entity from certain sanctions and reduce the amount of the applicable fine. A related but different statute is the Public Integrity Act, amended in 2021. Its primary focus is on public officials, servants and agents, but other individuals and companies may also be sued as co-defendants if they have taken part in the wrongdoing. These defendants may be held liable for acts resulting in losses to the public treasury or performed in violation of basic principles of morality and efficiency that govern the public administration. Unlike the Anti-Corruption Act, the Public Integrity Act only applies to court proceedings. It also does not provide for strict liability of defendants. Under the provisions in effect until 2021, some cases of unintentional misconduct could be subject to claims for liability, with the 2021 Act proof that the alleged misconduct was intentionally performed became mandatory. The sanctions provided for in the Public Integrity Act include compensation for damages, payment of fines, loss of assets, restrictions on the ability to obtain contracts and tax benefits from the government, and so on. Per the 2021 changes to the Act, the public prosecutor and defendants are now allowed to negotiate a civil non-prosecution agreement. Finally, with respect to companies, the sanctions of the Anti-Corruption Act and of the Public Integrity Act must observe the principle of ne bis in idem, meaning that defendant cannot be subject to different proceedings and sanctions for the same facts. That's it for now. Thanks and please do watch the other short videos in this series. Goodbye.